Welcome to Failed It. Hello, Failed It family. We have a star in our midst. Today, Rachel Oliveros, our podcast manager, is joining us for this mini-sode. Welcome, Rachel! Hello, I'm so happy to be back. So happy to have you back. And I'm going to preface this for all of our Failed It family listening. Rachel and I have been talking before we hit record. She has this lovely, like, like <laughs> raspy voice today. I'm like, Rachel, I'm loving this. This is like meditation station yoga for your brain. Um, okay, Rach, we have so much to discuss today. So we are going to give the Failed It fam a crash course in how to fast track yourself for career growth using what we love, improv comedy. So if you haven't listened to the mini-sode we have with Rachel, she was our very first mini-sode. She is the brains behind this operation. So much love to her for making this show work. But can you give us in two to three sentences a quick intro of yourself, your role at Improve It, and then what is your full-time job? Yes, of course. So as she said, I'm the podcast manager with Improve It. And basically what that means is that I'm the person, the go-to behind the scenes, communicating with guests, creating show notes and graphics, transcribing episodes, and just all the things you need to help grow the podcast with Erin. And it has been amazing. But my full-time job is actually at Viacom CBS, and that's a digital account manager in the advertising sales department. So what that means is that I work with movie studio business clients who want to put their movie trailers on our digital brands and create media plans for them. So I handle everything from pre-sale to post-sale communication. Oh my God. And I have had the pleasure of watch of watching this rising star uh, get to where she is today. Rachel was our second intern ever at Improve It. And then she became an associate with us. And she, before, this was all while you were still in school and college um, at Loyola. And then she went to Rome to study abroad. We lost her, but then she graduated and we have just stayed in touch ever since. And she is such a dear member of the Improve It family. And so I thought, who in the world could we have on the show to talk about fast tracking their career growth? And then mm, it was you because I've had a front row seat to watching you grow these past three years. Actually, it's been longer than that because we've known each other about five years. But since you graduated three years ago, you have just blossomed and just really fast tracked yourself into this awesome opportunity with Viacom CBS. So as you know, we use improv comedy around these parts to train on soft skills and you had a front row seat to that. So what does the words yes and mean to you? Gosh, yes. I remember um, taking a workshop and using yes and for the first time. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is changing my life. Because so yes and it basically means being inclusive when you're having conversations with others, no matter like if it's just with your friends or if it's in in your team at work, if somebody gives you their opinion, you accept it by replying with yes and. And then you include your own take on it rather than shutting someone down. And that's why yes and is like so important when you're communicating with people because you're being inclusive. That's it. That's it. Okay. So we're going to take this yes and, and I'd like to yes and your career since graduating, actually, because you were one of the hardest working college students I've ever met. You had like four jobs when you worked with us. Had, you still have two jobs. I had like three internships per semester. <laughs> so crazy. So crazy. And she's like, I got to go. I got to go to my other job. I'm like, okay, when are you going to sleep? You know? <laughs> so um, I'm so proud of you, but I wanted to give the Failed It family some tangible steps to fast track their careers using some improv techniques. And I also wanted to use your life as an example, Rach. So Failed It family, get out a pen and paper. If you are trying to fast track your career growth, we have four steps to helping you do that some of which use our philosophy of yes and. So the first step is step one, define your barriers. So what are the things hindering you 
from preventing your career growth. So Rach, for you, you were right out of school when you first entered the world of uh, corporate America, which most people are. What were some of the barriers that you had to overcome in the beginning of your career? Yeah. So my goal as a college student was to become a um, worker in the entertainment industry. And it's hard to do that when you're not in LA or New York. So I think like the first and foremost barrier was that I didn't know anything much about in the industry. And it was a very competitive place to be in. So that was already hard in it in and of itself. And then when you're like there getting that interview, it's you have to prove you're good enough. So it's like hard to compare. It, it was like hard to think that you were good enough for the role because you didn't know much. And then you constantly compare yourself to others. So the good thing though about the barriers is that it's based off of my own self-control. So like that obviously changed later in life as I grew. Totally. So you had your own limiting beliefs about yourself. You had a little bit of comparisonitis, which we've talked about on the show before, which is all normal. I know anybody listening here has had those things and experiencing experienced those feels for themselves. So That's step one, feel that fam, identify those barriers because when you can actually speak them out loud, they don't control you, you control them, all right? So now step two is what we call define your, or design your yes and environment. So what do we mean by this? As Rachel said, yes and is a space where judgment is postponed, where everybody feels like their voice is heard. It's inclusive. You feel supported. So who do you need as your yes and coach? Who is that? Where are you working? Is it an environment that fosters this feeling of yes and? And who do you have in your corner to help fast track your career growth? And I just want to caveat, we become like the five people that we spend the most time around. So choose wisely here. So Rachel, for you, how have you designed your yes and environment to get you to where you are right now? Yeah. So I think the people around you, I mean, you mentioned that you become the five people you spend the most time with. And I think they're the most important when it comes to designing your yes and environment. So I have chosen mentors and friends, I mean, including you in my life that continues to cheer me on, supports and believes in me, especially like when you're feeling down in yourself, they're the people that like lift you back up and really believe in you. So that's the most important, I would say. And then I didn't know this before, but like as I continued my interviews with Viacom CBS, I realized that culture is a huge priority of theirs. And that was an environment I definitely wanted to be in. They support you and they emphasize that they want you to grow within their company. So that was another important thing. And then just like in conversations that I have with people using the yes and mentality when when talking with them in and outside of the workforce, um, I mean, nobody likes to be shut down. So inclusivity is very important when it comes to designing this yes and environment. So using it yourself and making that um, important for others to use it around you as well. Yes. And I love it so much. I think so. Feel that fam, what Rachel is saying is essentially just design the environment that you want to be a part of and start that environment with you. So if you're yes anding somebody, if you're postponing judgment, hopefully the people around you will follow suit, but you have to have the type of environment that you want to work in in mind. That leads us to step three, which is create clear goals and timelines. And we have so many tools. You have so many tools at your disposal to Failed at Fam for this. You can create a vision board, which we've talked about on the show. You can use Rachel and I's favorite tool, Asana, which is a great project management software. You can use an Excel spreadsheet, but we want you to dream big. Know what your goals are and then create specific timelines against this. One great way to do this is to yes and yourself. So if you're, if you're, Rachel's dream was I want to work in entertainment, yes, and I want to work in entertainment in LA. Yes, and I want to do this by the end of 2022. So Rachel, what tools do you use to, or what did you use to create clear goals and timelines for yourself? Yeah. So 
when I when I was out of college, I had big dreams and I want to do this and that. Um, and there were hard goals too. So I would make sure to like write them out, long term and short term goals, and create a timeline for that so that I'm constantly um, doing things that'll help me get there. And one of the things that my friends and I always do is manifest. Like we love the word manifest. So we always talk about what our goals are and how it will happen as opposed to hope that it'll happen. And then another thing is that like similar to your vision board idea, I actually change my phone backgrounds to what it is that I want. So for example, um, you use the yes and I want to be in the entertainment industry and move to LA. I actually change my backgrounds to palm trees in California because that's what I want to do. And I'm actually making it happen this fall. So <laughs> There's a large no. audience clapping. <laughs> we are so proud of you. She has had, and, and this is why Rachel was chosen for this episode. Not only is she the amazing woman behind this show, but she's had three promotions. Three promotions in three years, Rach. Is that right? It, it, and in the industry, I'm in two and a half years. I started at Viacom in October 2018. Wow. And two promotions. That's amazing. That's amazing. And so... Anyone out there listening, it can be done as long as you have the clear goal and the timeline to do it. So your goal was to move to LA and you had a timeline. I remember you and I talking like, I want to be there by 2022 and you're going to get there. You're going to get there by the end of 2021, which is fantastic. Yeah. And I, and I wanted to be promoted within two years and that I made happen too, which was awesome. And like, especially in the pandemic, it was insane to think about and but it worked and it happened. And another big thing too, is that like, make sure you're networking with people who you look up to or want to be like, which goes back to um, choosing your mentors and friends in your life that want to support you and like help you grow. Yes. And okay. That leads me to step four, because we know the journey that you were on. I want you to fast forward a little bit. And this is for you too, Failed at Fam. The step four that we want you to think about for fast tracking your career growth is create a version of you five years from now. Write her or his name down and give them a short bio, a two to three sentence bio. So Rach, we're going to stop thinking backwards for you. We're going to think forward for you mm -hmm. right now. So step four, create a version of Rachel five years from now. What's her name? And tell us a little bit about her. Okay. We're, we're going to go with, her name is Rochelle. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Rochelle is going to be an expert in the advertising and entertainment industries having been in the workforce for eight years then. She worked her way up to the top by going above and beyond on digital campaigns and growing and maintaining great relationships with her clients and coworkers. Having learned a lot already, she offers mentorship to people in their early career to help them achieve their goals. And then in addition to her full-time role, she will continue to maintain the growth of the Forbes Top Podcast, which provides leaders the support they need to thrive in their roles. I had to add that in there. Thank you so much. Okay, Rachel, we just, uh, first of all, I love this Rochelle. Okay, <laughs> yes. And second of all, we just let the Failed at Fam in on a little secret that we want to be a Forbes top rated podcast. We're going to make it happen. We're going to make it happen. One way you can help us is just to leave us an iTunes review. That's all we need from you, Failed at Fam. All we need is soft plug, soft, hard plug right now. And we have some changes coming up for you, too. So that's really exciting. But I love this, Rochelle. Okay, I'm dying. And <laughs> Failed It Fam, what I want you to do is do this for yourself. Take a pen, take a paper, take the note section of your phone and do this. All right. So let's recap your four steps. Number one, define your barriers. What are the things preventing you? from your career growth. Number two, design that yes and environment. Know the environment that you want to work in, who you want to surround yourself with. Step three, create those clear goals and give them timelines. Step four, create a version of you, name him or her five years from now. And here's a final step that I'm just going to throw in. Remember that life is improv and you may go off track from time to time and things may shift and life may happen. But these steps will help fast track you to be the person you want to be and help you improve your it. My failed it fam, that's the thing that only you can bring to the world. So we can only control one thing through this process, and that's the vision that we have for ourselves and our attitudes going through it. 
Before we go, Rachel, how has your attitude shaped your career growth? Yeah. So, I mean, like I said before, I think all my setbacks were things that I can myself control. So I would say my attitude changed because I became very confident and really believed in myself. They tell you, you need to be your biggest cheerleader. And that's what I became. And my mentality now is like, if I want it, I'm going to get it. I am so proud to have a front row seat to Rochelle's life. (laughs) And I've watched that confidence bloom. I've watched you blossom. And Rachel, I'm so proud of you. And you are the, the avatar for this episode. This is you. You have done all of these things. So thank you so much for sharing your story, Field It Fam. We hope that this episode gave you some tips that you can apply immediately to your career. Rachel, thanks for being here. Thank you. And to the Failed It fam, fail yeah. Fail yeah. Yeah. Hey friends, thanks for tuning in to Failed It. I am so happy you were along for the ride. If you enjoyed this show, please head on over to iTunes, leave us a five-star review and subscribe to the show so you never miss an episode. New episodes drop every Wednesday. Now, if you're really feeling today's show, please take a screenshot and tag me on Instagram at Keeping It Real Deal and share it to your stories so we can bring more people to the Failed It family. I'll see you next week, but I want to leave you with this thought. What will you fail at today and how will that help your future successful self? Think about it. I'm so proud of you and you are totally failing it. See you next time.